massive cleanup and search for a cause to this morning's massive apartment fire. It is a story we first broke at 5 o'clock this morning, and now we're hearing from those who risked their lives to save their neighbors. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda has been on the scene all morning for us, and Sophia, one man actually punched through windows to save people inside. Yeah, good morning, guys. It's an incredible story of heroism. Folks living here at the Meadows on Bluebell Apartments say they're lucky to be alive. If it weren't for several people, including those two brothers, going door to door trying to get everyone out, there may have been injuries or worse, several deaths this morning. Now, take a look at what's left of this building. Those early morning flames ripped through 16 apartments, leaving only destruction behind. Dozens of people who are now out of their homes say they're lucky to be alive and thankful for those good Samaritans. I heard him say, uh, it's all, it's all fire. The building's on fire. Preston Brown and his brother, John Tal Williams, got a rude awakening around four in the morning when a massive fire broke out at the Meadows on Bluebell Apartments in Northwest Harris County. Brown says the flame started in an upstairs apartment and quickly turned into an inferno. I get a knock on the door. Uh, everybody screaming fire about 4 15 a.m. this morning. And when everybody uh, screaming fire, a lot of chaos was going on. Then Preston smashed his way through a window and went to a smoky apartment to alert more residents. He had to get five stitches across his thumb from all of the broken glass. He started knocking on the door trying to uh, get him out. We didn't hear anything. So we just started breaking uh, the window. I started kicking it. I got a cut right here on my leg where the glass and stuff cut my foot. The Harris County Fire Marshal says the flames grew out of control pretty quickly and firefighters needed extra help battling the fire. But low water pressure and not enough fire hydrants slowed the fight. Little York Fire Department uh, received a call for an apartment fire. Uh, they arrived, had heavy smoke and fire coming from the building behind me. Uh, they initiated a second and then onto a third alarm to bring in extra crews of manpower to uh, fight the fire. Families say they are lucky to be alive. Now they want to help those who lost their homes. We're putting together a close and need drive because they lost everything. Now, again, everyone did get out safely from the burning building. As you can see, it is completely destroyed. The building is at a total loss. Red Cross is helping those who were able to get out. Also, one woman we spoke with says the front office is now collecting donations for all those people that lost everything here. They're collecting clothes specifically from infant sizes all the way up to senior citizens. Investigators say they are still looking for an exact cause of those flames. Live in Northwest Harris County, Sophia O'Hara.